Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. <laughs> I have problems to get into the class. Oh. But everything is okay. I saw that. Uh huh. It it said that the the image that you sent, but what happened? It just it suddenly. I don't allowed. know that message. Yeah, always happened that that that. that that error, right? I don't know why. Oh. It's difficult to me to get in sometimes in, in the class. Okay. Does anybody else have any problems getting into the class? Like the, the message that Arturo put in WhatsApp? I have the same problem. You too, Vane. Yes. And it's the same and message. I have to try and try and try. Yes. Um, I have to try like five times, I guess. Wow. Okay, I, I will report it, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure what it could be. I don't know if it's the internet or maybe a problem with the error. When you go in, um, are you using uh, Google, Firefox, uh, Safari? What what, it, what navigator are you using? Um, I I connect it with my phone. Yes, but in the phone, with, which app. one? With with the app. Android, yeah. Uh -huh. it's, it's an Android. No, no, but the, when you connect, you use the 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 app of Inglés Corporativo, or you use the uh, the, for example, in Google, you look for Inglés and then you log in, or in which one? No, I got I got logged in with the, the with the mail with the mail mail. E okay, with the email. Yes, you just click on the e link and then you get in. And get in. I use the U URL. Yeah, yes. the URL. Okay. Yeah, it shouldn't give you a problem, but okay. It's a, that way I know I can report it and then maybe we can try a little bit of it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So the first thing we're going to do, um, sorry, is there anybody else having any problems or any questions about the platform? The first thing, I hope everybody's advancing little by little because that's important. The important is to work on the platform. With the, the platform English Corporativo. Um, yes. To the exercise. No, the exercise. It, it's everything okay. Okay, great, Arturo. How about for the others? Is everything okay? Yes, it's okay for me. It's okay. Perfect. Okay, so today we're going to start off. Um, it's just a little warm up. We want to focus on our speaking abilities. Um, of course, we're going to be looking at the present perfect and a little bit of reviewing the storytelling. Okay. So the storytelling was, if we remember last week, it has to do with the adverbs. Okay. So it's not just, ah, uh, I went to the movies, I went to the supermarket, but it's using those extra words with li, right? Unexpectedly, suddenly. Okay, quickly, okay, strangely, fortunately, luckily, those different Lee words. So what we're going to do is we're going to have partners and we're going to tell them what we did this weekend. But when you tell them, try to include the vocabulary that we studied. So add a little bit more Lee. As an example, Patricia, what did you do this weekend? I, I was relaxed on Saturday and, and I went to the chore in Sunday. Okay, Patricia, thank you. Now try to add vocabularies with Lee. If you remember from last week, the vocabularies with Lee are in the platform. They are 2.4, okay? Or they are the words that we finished like coincidentally, miraculously, sadly, these types of things. I'm going to take a picture and put also into the WhatsApp. That way we can have... Mm -hmm. One moment. 
so that we can have these words there as well. Okay. So if you're using the platform, um, it's 2.4 or in the WhatsApp. Okay. So as an example, Patricia maybe can say, ah, on Saturday, I was surprisingly happy or surprisingly tired or I accidentally went to sleep or I suddenly how wanted to eat mango twist, okay? Whatever it is. But the idea is we want to improve a little bit our stories. Are we ready for our partners? We're ready. Okay. Ready. Perfect. Remember, it's only, it's not all of the, the class. It's just a few minutes to help us review what we learned from last week. Only a, a small review, telling your partner about last week. You are in the intensive class. Mm, could you repeat your question, please? Um, dale I, ese, este, ¿cómo es? uh, I am in the last time in, in the intensive. Maybe <laughs> in that case, yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, on Wednesday, I'm going to be so busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what do you doing on weekend, baby? Well, basically, on um, my weekend, I did a lot of things. The main thing that I did, it was maybe I'll return to the gym. And something else, let me see. Something different, let me see. No, maybe just going to the gym is the thing that I did that is different. Because basically when we uh, was in, sorry, I was in the quarantine, I couldn't go to the gym. So right now I, I returned. Let me see if, if if there, if is there the the exercise that I I got to tell you. Okay. Two point eight. Eh? This is. Uh... I don't, I no. think it's in other, oh, uh, let's see the exercise 2.4. 2.4, okay. Uh -huh. And don't play the video, just check the, the picture. Okay. What do you see? Let me check, let me check. Okay. Ah, 
remember, don't play the video. Just check okay. the the picture or the images. The yeah, yeah. Uh, the perfect, the present perfect continuous. Okay. No. No. Is vocabulary starting to is starting to leave? Sorry, Arturi, because I, I have a, a 2.8. Ah, 2.4. 2.4. 2.4? Yes, 2.4. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah, vocabulary, yeah. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Don't play the video, just check the picture. Okay, okay. Um, story to lean uh, with the word. Never to stay in the home. No, in, in, I have like five days, only five days in my home. The rest of the day I have to, I have to work in my office. Okay. Yeah. The work. It's the difficult, job. right? Yes, it's difficult, but it's scary. Yes. But we have exercise so you won't like in the in the beginning, but maybe when it's become a hobby, you're gonna love it. Not just like no, you're gonna love it. <laughs> Last week, for example, um, my son and and I, I we we went Job gym, job gym, yeah. Like um, run slowly. Mm -hmm. uh, two two kilometers, kilometers. Kilometers, okay. Yes, kilometers. Uh, but <laughs> we no longer continue. <laughs> 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 yeah, basically start jogging is not easy, at least two kilometers for some somebody that don't like to walk a lot is a hard, is like a homework. Okay, uh, one moment. Um, this day I luckily Luckily, uh, this day I luckily um, work only six hours in the in the day. Mm -hmm. Okay. What more information about you? Okay. Um, and this day, Mira, Mira, Mira Collis. This day, Mira Collis, the sure. the. My boss uh, was friendly. Mm -hmm. Okay. In the Saturday, what do you uh, do? What did you do on Saturday? On Saturday. Um, on Saturday. Um, Hello, Cesar. Cesar is here. Yeah, but he's quiet. Uh, okay. I'm really quiet. <laughs> uh, he's, he's sleeping right now, I think. <laughs> okay, in the in Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, I don't go to the beach. Really? You go to the beach on I Saturday? I don't, don't, don't. Ah, okay. Don't. Eugenia, okay. Hey, thank you, Arturo. <laughs> okay. I know some of you were in the middle. I apologize. I saw it was, you were starting to feel good. You say, hey, we are beginning and getting the ideas and good. But that's the idea. The idea is to help us review, review it. Because today we are going to expand it or make it bigger. Now, these are when we're telling stories, 
normally we use what is the common form, which is the past tense. Normally it's the simple past. We say, for example, I went to the beach or I ate pupusas or I saw a movie, right? Different, depending on the situation. But today we're gonna to be looking at something a little bit more. This one is called the perfect form, okay? With the perfect form is we're going to use it with a past participle. Now, with regular verbs, no problem, it's the same. Past tense, past participle. You don't have to complicate your life, it's the same. With irregular verbs, you have to memorize them, you have to learn these. This is the difference between eat in the present, ate in the past, or eaten in the past participle. We're going to watch a small video to help us get the idea and the understanding of what it is that's a perfect form, okay? For us, it's going to be easier when we understand that it's always accompanied with have or has. So the present perfect is have or has. The idea or the function is similar to telling the story, to describing. Only the difference is the time. Instead of having the present tense or the past tense, the present perfect is going to help us to understand that it's for activities that happened in the past and up to now. Okay, so let's watch a small video and a conversation to get a better understanding. Can everybody see? Are you ready? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. Hello, this time we want you to listen to the following conversation what's going on and also to practice it with a friend or a relative. Once you do that, we want you to play the second part of the conversation and get ready to answer the question I have for you. What have you been doing? Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Gina, I haven't seen you in ages. What have you been doing lately? Nothing exciting. I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How come? I'm saving money for trip to Morocco. Well, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. What about you? Well, I've only been spending money. I'm pursuing a full-time modeling career. Really? How long have you been modeling? Since I graduated, but I haven't been getting any work. I need a job soon. I'm almost out of money. All right, let's take a look at the idea there. Okay, first off, are there any words that you don't understand? Did you hear the conversation? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, were there any words or parts that are not clear what they mean? Pursuing. A f pursuing a full time, per but for pursuing, what does it mean, teacher? Pursuing means that you, you want to do this, that this is what you are doing, you are pursuing. So when you say here, it says, I'm pursuing a full time modeling career. That means they're trying, he is following the idea or the plan to become a full-time model. Any other words? No. Okay. Now, if we look in the conversation, we can see many examples of the perfect form. This is the part where it's have or haven't, like we have here, haven't, have, have, okay. These, all of these are I, I have, 
all of these are the perfect form. And what's the difference? The difference is that this, as I mentioned, I've been working for two jobs in the last six months is I began six months ago, but continue doing this My modeling career until now. Really? That's why it's the perfect because it's not the past. It's not finished. And it's, uh, it's, and it's happening now. So for this activity, we use a perfect form. The perfect forms are have or has and the past participle. And it's the same for the negative form. It's the same for the question, okay, you've been, or it's the same for a positive sentence. All of them are going to have have or has and then the past participle. Is that okay? We have a little bit of an idea? Okay. Hang on. Let's see if we can get you a little bit more. I think it's looking for the last part, but okay. We're not going to. Oh, that yeah. must have been some vacation. Okay. So here we're looking at the question, what about these two people? What have they been doing? This is the past, this is the past participle, been, okay? The have with the been gives us the present perfect. This is only to identify, start in the past and continue to now, okay? So when we talk about a perfect tense is, what we're asking really is, Something that started in the past and continues until the present. Okay, so if maybe for you, you have been studying English for, I don't know, three months, maybe one year, maybe two years. Maybe in your job, you have been working in your job for one month or one year or 10 years. The idea is begin in the past and continue to the present. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Do you understand why we use the perfect tense and not the past tense? Yeah. Vanessa? Vanessa, I couldn't hear you. Can you, sorry, can you please repeat? Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, I'm saying that we use uh, because the uh, the action it's continuing in the present, but it starts in the past. Correct. That's the idea. It starts in the past and continues. It's not finished in the past. If something finished in the past, then we use the past tense or the simple past. Okay, so how do we make the questions? What are the common questions? Ah, the common question is, what have you been doing? Okay, imagine that I ask Omi. I said, Omi, what have you been doing? And, uh, I, have, uh, I have been working all day. Okay, now that means that he started in the past and he continues to now, right? Now, um, usually when we talk about the perfect forms, we don't talk about in the moment, like for example, one day or things. We usually talk about a reference of time. I have, maybe in the case of me, I have been working for three years in the same company, or I have been studying hard for the exams, okay? Now, it's the correct, also what Omni said is correct, because the idea is always, always start in the past and continue to today, even if it's for one day, but this is the focus. That's the idea of when we were talking about the perfect. Are we okay with that one so far? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And if Omni, finish his work at 4 p.m., then the answer is I worked only. That's right, I worked. I worked very hard or, or, I, or a past tense. I had a difficult uh, day or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So if he says I have been working, it's because he is still working right now. Correct. The important is that it has to continue working or has to continue doing the action. I'm going to give you a little bit of an examples here and maybe that'll make it easier and clearer so that we can see. Okay. Here, we look at this grammar. This, we look at the present perfect continuous. What does it mean? It means that we use the present perfect for actions that start in the past, but continue into the present. So what have you been doing lately or what have you been doing uh, for the last six months? You start with this, what you did in the past, okay? And continue up to now. The same for the others. How long have you been modeling? Ah, the question is you model, you start in the past and you continue to now. This is the same for the other things, okay? Let's take a look at this grammar focus and see if these things help us out a little bit more to understand it. Hi, we have a great conversation. Can you find examples of statements with have and haven't been? Now, we want you to stay for the explanation of the structure and use of the present perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous. Use the present perfect continuous for actions that start in the past and continue into the present. What have you been doing lately? I've been working two jobs for the last six months. How long have you been modeling? I've been modeling since I graduated. Have you been saving money? No, I haven't been saving any money. I've been spending it. Moving on, present perfect continuous is a tense used for. A continuous or repeated activity that began in the past and continues into the present. It emphasizes the activity itself and its duration. Let's look at these examples. Jack has been waiting for over an hour. I've been studying since three o'clock. How long have you been studying French? Okay. okay, so what is in, what can we get the idea from, from these examples? Well, we can see that here, it's only one hour, okay? But started one hour in the past and continues to now. Here, maybe it's a little bit longer. Maybe it's several hours started at the past at three o'clock and continues, okay? And the last one is the question for in general. I don't know how long it happened. This is where we talk about durations. When she says for the duration, the duration is an hour or for the time when we start or just in general, how much. Are the examples okay? Yes, the truth. And last but not least, we'll go over the structure of these tense. For affirmative, this is what we use. I, we, you, they, plus have been, plus verb, plus ing. He, she, it, plus has been, plus verb, plus ing. When in negative, we need to add the word not between have or has and been. And as always, in questions, the helping verb or the auxiliary goes at the beginning, followed by the subject, like this. Have plus subject plus been plus verb plus ing plus complement. Have you been saving money? Can you now work on the following exercises? How long have you been learning English? Now with partners, asking and answering those questions. We're gonna be using the perfect forms, okay? So when we take a look at it is, how long have you been learning English? What are you tired? What have you been doing? And what have you been eating? Okay. All of these things are talking about things in the past up to now. 
does everybody understand how we make the structure for the answers? Yes. Okay, let's try one example. Who would like to help me with one example for number one? I can help you. Okay, thank you, David. Please, how long have you been learning English? Well, in 2020, around, well, I've been learning English around three months. Excellent. Okay. Now, what David mentioned was exactly correct. Okay. Because we're talking about the duration. So, we always have to begin with I, in the case that it's for you, I have, he said, I have been, I'm putting in the chat so you can check in just a moment. Okay. Uh, David, you said around three months, right? Yes. Okay, good. Now, when David says three months, is that for three months, since three months, around three months? What, what word do I use to make that complete sentence? Mm. I have uh, since you have to use since three months. Okay, okay. Fabi says since. Anybody else? It's okay. It's okay to make a mistake. It's not a problem. Now we can. I have been around. That's right. That's right, Manny. We can use around. We can use since, but we cannot use three months. If we use since, we have to put the when it started. For example, since February, since May, since 2001. Since, when we talk about since, what we are really saying is when the thing started, okay? When we talk about for, we're talking about an amount, a quantity, okay? Now, when we talk about the word around, is we talk about something that's not exactly, okay? Is that okay? We have to make a specific time. Okay. It's not, a, not always is necessary specific, you can use like the word around or since or for or about, okay? But usually, yes, when you say I have been the activity, it doesn't have to be a, a, a number, but as an example, I have been, a, I have been studying since 10 o'clock or I have been watching TV since this morning. It doesn't have to have a time like uh, one or two or three, but it can use time reference. Last year, uh, January, this morning, yesterday, last week, it can, all of those can be used. Okay. So we're Thanks. gonna, you're welcome. So we're gonna make small partners and we're gonna answer those three questions. We're gonna try to use the perfect tenses, okay? After we answer those questions, you are going to ask three more questions to your partners using those structures. So you're gonna ask, ah, have you been? Or you can ask, what, where, how have you been? Okay, so one more time. First, we answer the three questions in the platform or in the, in the chat, depending if you use your phone. Okay, this is number one. When we finish practicing those, then we create three questions to ask our partner and they answer. And our partner creates three questions to ask us and we answer. Is that okay for everybody? Okay. All right, let's go.
Yeah. I try to remember this topic. For example, um, to create three ten sentences more than the example that is in the platform. Uh, just let me find the question in the platform because I lost them. 2.8. Ah. 2.8 in the platform. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ah, yes. That's perfect. Oh, perfect. Okay, who wants to start? If you want. Her, her, permanente. Okay. Um, I don't know. Um, uh, the signal is constantly. Constantly, huh? okay, that's okay. Constantly. Yeah, uh, since two months is I have constantly in learning English. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, and the next one is why are you tired? I am tired because Fabi, Vane, are you okay? Yeah. Any questions? No, teacher, I have a question. If I say, have you seen a movie, it's okay? That is correct. Okay. to study English last hour or last hour and about the question do you remember a question with the present continuous for me okay yes of course um my first question about the perfect continuous the, the the present perfect or past perfect uh, um, how long have you been living in your city for example um, um I have, yes I, I try to uh, I try to answer the question I I have been living in La Urbes for 10 years, uh, I think, yes. Okay, this is my first question. The second question for you, um, how long have you been working in your life? Okay, I, I have been working for eight years in a, in a different company. For example, I start to, to work in 2006 in a formal job. And, and I try to say this when they descuentan the AFP y la renta. What is the word teacher for? This this account, the rent of uh, and taxes. That the, when taxes. they discount the taxes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember. I I have for eight years these discounts in the payroll. Okay, that's a good job. Um, and the same question is for Jallers. Uh, the first question is, uh, was. Uh, how long, how long have you been in your city, Jadar? Um, I have been um, ten years around. 
living? Around three years, uh, ten, ten years. Ten, ten years. years. Uh, that's okay. Have you been working? How long have you been working in your life? Um, I don't remember. I I think uh, uh, ten years. I I have been work working ten years. Okay. Uh, the the last question for me is for Caesar, and then answer each other. Okay. Uh, how long have you studying English? Oh, no. How long have you practice? Have you been practicing English in your life, Caesar? I I have been improving my English skills for around two years, but I study um... <laughs> Yes. It's your power, <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> Don't you remember <laughs> me? <laughs> okay. 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 Well, I have another question. Hello, have you been working for Millicon? Uh, for Millicon, around uh, for uh, seven years, I have been working in Millicon for seven years. Yeah, I hear this most stressful the make it home office. Yes, but on uh, uh, but on weekend it's it's. It be so amazing and and relax to me on Saturday because it's a Vanya, Bobby, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I Okay, because I don't hear you guys speaking. Do, do, are you thinking of your questions? Yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Just making sure. Okay. Okay. If I, I want to, I don't know if. I, it's okay if I say, have you been, have you been on a plane, on an airplane, so. That's correct. That's good. Okay. I am engineer, but uh, my specialization or my your yeah, specialty, yeah, is in safety, security, safety, safety, security. Oh, okay, you oh. you can uh, deal for the the safety in the workstations. <laughs> I am the, the law enforcement director for the International Justice Mission in El Salvador. One year, I'm helped. Yes, yes, one year I'm helped. So, so. Um, what do you think is the better, or what do you think is the um, met, um, method of a study to learn English? Um, I, 
thing only speak for me is only this this hour and try to speak. I don't like your vegetables. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Joe is missing you, Patty. Make us a question. I don't know. Um, what have you been doing? Um, Sunday? Last Sunday? Well, on Sunday, I've been doing um, my working basically because I continue doing it. <laughs> on Sunday? Yeah. Sunday. It, yeah, it's normal. <laughs> That a lot. What yeah, time? that's a lot. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Do you like yeah. the word about that? Yeah, I, I love it because that's uh, that's uh, maybe someone think of this just to make some drawers, uh, but it's interesting how you can create uh something can sell a product like a box or show your product like a magazine or something in the website you must be uh really creative yeah uh, really i creative, work in yeah. that <laughs> because it's okay. very difficult to deal with the client uh, or yeah. make or understand their the what they got what uh, the idea they got in their my uh, okay. some of them are thinking do you see the memes how you say uh, make it more creative and make it more <laughs> uh, <laughs> fantastic uh, but I know it's, for me it's, it's the better methodology to try to speak <laughs> but, but you need to know the grammar rules and is, is the idea to try to speak, but uh, with the correct form of the sentence. And yes, uh, yes, yes. Have you been had a pet? Or have you been Having a pet? No. I don't know. I'm not sure. Teacher? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Fabi. Have uh, you been having a pet or have you been have a pet? No. It would be have, have you had a pet? Have you been had a pet? No, no, no. I have you had a pet? Have you? Have you had a pet? Correct. Oh, okay. I'll put it in the chat so that you can see. Have you have a pet? Mm -hmm. But it's not. Okay. It's not the present that I have or, or, or it is. No, you, you cannot use continuous because for example, it's like um, it's for you have or you don't have, no, or it's like a yes or a no. It's not. It's no in between. You okay. can you can answer yes. I've had a pet. I've had for three uh -huh. years or uh huh, but no, I have been having because the idea of have is like you receive. You receive all the time. No continue receiving and receiving. Mm -hmm. have, have you ever been on a blind date? I don't know if it's okay to say blind. That's, yes, that's correct. 
Maybe ask, ask Fabiola again. Okay. So uh, with, with the English Corporative, it's very good to learn about. Okay, very good. I hear many of you practicing, many of you asking questions and answering is great. Only let's review a little bit the difference between the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous. In the simple form is no ing. Okay, uh, there is no ing, only the past participle. Um, but in the continuous, you have the verb been in the past participle and an ing. So I can ask, for example, how long have you been? living in El Salvador, or how long have you lived in El Salvador? There's a technical difference, but many people use both of those, okay? The difference is really when you say, how long have you, uh, and then the past participle, is because you do not do the action anymore. Maybe you did the action before. Maybe you already finished, but we don't know when. But when we use with ing, is because we are continuing the activity. Okay. Also, when we answer, we need to be careful with the answers between using for or uh, since or to. For is a number. So you're not going to say for September, for example. You're going to say since September. Since we can use the dates, since Christmas, since birthday, since my mother's day. Okay. But for is an amount. So for two years, for one month, for like in this case. I don't know if you have any other, any questions yourselves. I most of you were able to do most of the, the make your own questions and answers very good. But do you have any questions? No. No. No question. Okay, great. Now. Please remember, you need to continue working in the platform because you don't want to waste too much time. You don't want to wait and then say, oh my God, I have so much to do, so much to do. Now, for example, today we finished the idea 2.8, the present perfect continuous, okay? So you should be in about 2.8 or 2.9 for tomorrow, okay? This is the idea. You want to make sure that everything is complete complete every week and not accumulate. Mm -hmm. I see Cesar shared a dictionary. Ah, that Cesar shared something for, for you to take a look at to help you out with the idea for the grammar. Yes, for the topic, it's a, it's a good web, website. Oh. Numbers. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, you teacher. Thank you, you teacher. Thank you. you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night.